Well, it's interesting because uh, it's going to address the challenge question as well. Okay. Uh, and it has to do with uh, the trusted identity and federation that NSTIC is calling for. Uh, we, we have a, a, a product that's out there that, that does what NSTIC um, wants it to do. Uh, and we are getting adoption in different uh, um, market segments. But if connect.gov were to really take off and to really solidify, I think that would help with the uh, uh, adoption of the concept. Um, the single sign-on, I mean, uh, this isn't too far in the future. This right. is some stuff that's going on right now, but it's going to take us into the future. Being able to manage um, all these applications with a, with a single password and the self-service aspect of it. And then finally, I would uh, go back to uh, data management. Uh, it has to be an aspect of uh, uh, identity and access management, uh, being able to control what an authorized user can do with that data uh, so that if that uh, credential is compromised, uh, there's a policy there to keep them from uh, being able to do bad things with the data. Uh, that, that technology, it's all starting to blend together, and I think it's going to really help with um, you know, a more secure future. Excellent.